Hello. In, um, in this uh, video here, we'll be looking at the way in which um, electricity is created. Um, we'll be looking at a coil, which is that there, rotating in a magnetic field. OK, now the magnetic field is created in this situation by two magnets, one with the, the North Pole there and the South Pole there. So we'll have a magnetic field acting that direction there. And our coil is going to be rotating okay, in the clockwise direction. At the moment, um, you, you can see that the coil is horizontal to the magnetic field. So therefore, the area presented to it is equal to zero, that there is no area at all. Now, of course, the electricity is going to be um, created by, um, by um, following the laws of Faraday's, which is that the EMF induced is proportional to the rate of change of flux linkage. And we looked at that in, in my last video. So in fact, um, if I write down here, the simply the voltage produced EMF is going to be equal to the change in the number of coils times magnetic field strength times the area divided by the change in time and it's going to be a negative direction um, because of Lenz's law which says that the e induced EMF will be in such a direction as to oppose the motion it causing it. So effectively you need to put work into it, you need to put work into that system um, in order to create electricity. So the area at the moment is, is not there okay and as it will turn through uh, 90 degrees it'll certainly uh, have a maximum area facing perpendicular to it and then it turns to another 90 degrees there'll be no area at all to it etc et so it spins constantly um, within a cycle going from no area to full area to no area to full area so the change the change that's happening here is not in the number of coils that's going to be one coil stays the same it's not going to be the change in magnetic field the change is going to be a change in the area now, as, if this ro rotates at, at a, a steady rate, you will get a sinusoidal curve. Uh, as you see here, I've plotted voltage on the axis against time. And you can see that it goes from zero to a maximum to zero to a maximum or a, or a minimum or a maximum in the negative direction, which is a better way of saying it, to, to another peak there. Okay, and it follows the cycle. Now, interestingly, because the EMF is is brought to the rate of change. The greatest rate of change is in fact when it's horizontal with, with no area. So you're going to find when it's in that situation there, you're going to get a maximum voltage. When it's flipped through 180 degrees, you will get a, um, a maximum but in a negative direction. And when you've got the maximum area facing it, in fact, that is when the rate of change is this area is going to be least. So where you've got a zero EMS here, zero EMS there and there, what you find that is when it is when you've got the full, the maximum area presented to it. And this way, this is producing um, AC. This will produce um, AC current uh, if connected to a circuit. Um, and what we'll see here is that. By connecting it to something known as a carbon brush and slip rings, um, you can add these to the output. So these are two outputs. You will get um, AC um, EMF come from it, which will apply an AC current.